Tom, just in terms of your pre-game preparation and, and how all that works, what sort of routine do you tend to go through? When will you eat, say, before a game? What sort of stuff will you eat? Um, I have a pretty big, big breakfast if possible, try and eat early, um, plenty of porridge, um, eggs, beans, all the, all the usual stuff really, nothing too fancy, bit of veg if I can. And then uh, after the team run and the morning sort of preparation, do you have line out spotters and things like that, have a slightly lighter lunch. Um, this is if we're having a two o'clock kickoff, to have two kickoff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a bit of pasta, maybe some tuna or chicken or whatever's out. and. Uh, just, just fairly light, nothing too heavy because I don't want to go into the game feeling too bloated or anything. Sure. Is it? Do you have a particular sort of stuff that you will, will eat every single time? Do you have any sort of routine like that? No, no superstitions or anything. Um, nothing, nothing fancy over here. We usually get pancakes before the game. Um, you know, just a bit of carbo loading, a bit of feel good food, make everyone happy going into the game and. Uh, <laughs> You know, at, at home it'd usually be beans on toast or a tuna pasta or something like that. Yeah, fair enough. And then once you've once you've finished the game, um, and it's a case of taking those calories on, possibly the chance to visit some excesses or things that you might normally not be allowed. Is there any any particular stuff that you like? I've spoken to Mark Quater, he's been going big on about McDonald's and chocolate. Uh, there's nothing in particular. Yeah, biscuits are a big big one for me. I'm uh, I'm one of the lucky ones. I don't have to be too careful on what I eat. Um, if anything, the more the better. Trying to keep some body weight on. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty good at getting my fundamentals done, the, the protein and stuff first, all the all the good nutritional stuff that I talk about recovery-wise, and then after that, I can just pile whatever I want on top. So if there's a pizza going or a couple of packs of digestive biscuits, uh, <laughs> chocolate biscuits, then uh, I'm all over them. Brilliant, sounds good. And uh, in terms of the sort of discipline that you have to have as a professional player, obviously it's it's amazing to be able to be paid to play the sport that you love and, and do all of that, but. You know, maybe the opportunity to go away where you might like to, or with family, or to spend time with them. Do, do the sacrifices come into it? How, how much does that sort of weigh on your mind in terms of being a professional sportsman? Um, this pre-season has been difficult in that sense because um, I've got a young boy and my my girlfriend's pregnant as well, and another one on the way. So spending a lot of time away from home has been difficult. Um, you know, things like Skype and the laptops and that make it a lot easier these days. And um, we're not too far from home, so I travel whenever I can. But yeah, that is a, that is a bit of a strain at the moment. But um, like you say, um, you know, particularly a big opportunity this year, and um, you know, it's a sacrifice that's got to be made, and um, it's something I've always looked forward to and uh, and always aimed for. So I'm, I'm not going to let something like that really uh, play on my mind too much. Yeah, certainly. And, uh, and just going back to this weekend, then um, a lot of competition for the back row places in England shirts. What do you feel that you've got to do, and, and what skills do you bring to the party that that you're hoping will will stick in Jono's mind? Um, I've got to try and uh, make very few mistakes really and impose my game where I can. Like you say, we're up against a very talented back row. Um, Sam Warburton in particular is captain of the side and playing really well. So um, basically just got to try and get myself in the game. Um, you know, and back up some of the good work I think I did in the Six Nations um, and just to try and press on from there now. Uh, feeling good after pre-season. Um, obviously the line-out is going to be a big role for me. Um, you know, uh, Substituting in with Tom Croft at number six is a big responsibility there for me to uh, to do that justice and and just my all round game really I got to show the graft and the enthusiasm that uh, you know that I do in my club game and uh, make my tackles and do all the hard work and uh, hopefully that will stand me in good stead. Obviously we've got a very different team this week to the one that faced Wales at Twickenham last week. I imagine a lot of you guys were probably told that you'll get your chance, you know, perhaps next week from last week. Any ideas now ahead of going to Ireland? Are you getting a sense that before that game it's, it's going to be a, you know, you might well be told who's going to be starting there and therefore that might have more of a bearing on your mind as to what that World Cup score is going to be? Um, I don't know. I have no idea what they're going to do with the squad, to be honest. I can only imagine that they'd pick a, as close to their full strength as they could for that last game. Um, that's what I would do personally, but I can't say that's what's, what the coaches are going to do. Um, can't say that's what their plans are. Um, I'd like to think that's what they'll do, and uh, we'll have a good idea from there. Um, you know, we kind of owe Ireland one after the Six Nations. We, uh, we slipped up big time there, and uh, you know, and they, they made mugs of us to a certain extent. So, um, you know, we're, we've got extra motivation to go there and put in a performance. Yeah, I spoke to Jamie Heaslip actually yesterday. I was over in Dublin, and, uh, and he was saying that it's it's going to be a fairly deadly com confrontation, as he was saying. It's, uh, obviously, we're used to these warm-ups not being as friendly as they might be in name, but but certainly that that clash at the Aviva is is, is going to be fairly no holds barred, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd say so. But I mean, all games are. I mean, you can build any game like that. England Wales is a tough rivalry, and uh, we don't take any of those games lightly. Um, whether it's at Twickenham or the Millennium Stadium and, and then heading to Ireland as well, that's always another big challenge and, uh, and having been beaten quite comfortably last time around, we'll, uh, we'll be looking to right a few wrongs there. Well Tom, we hope you go one on the back of this weekend, best of luck. Thank you very much.